Hello drone racers. If you have watched this channel at all, you know I'm a big fan of the Esheen E10S. It's been a great drone. I've had one for quite a while that I've been flying on my Free Sky, and I decided to go ahead and buy the same model for my father for his birthday. But he has a Spectrum. And with the Spectrum, the setup is a little bit different. I sent this to him and just gave it to him and said, here, set it up and see if there's a video on how to get it going. Well, it turns out the instructions that it comes with are atrociously bad. They were actually for a free sky. They were no good at all. He has a DX6i. This is actually my DX6i. And it took me long enough to get it set up that I decided it would be worth it to go ahead and make a video for setting the E10S up with a Spectrum. This is a DX6i. It should be similar with your other radios, but hopefully this helps somebody. I will say I've already had to go through the process of setting this up, so some of it I'm just gonna have to talk about and won't be able to show quite as well, but I'm gonna do my best to go through every step that you need to do in order to get your E10S working with your Spectrum radio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set up a new model. And here's what I did. One thing, if you have a DX6i that you're following along with, your button here, you have your little dial and your button is right here, you push it. This radio is old and broken and I'm gonna be pushing this button, but just ignore that part. This is, we had to rewire it in order to get it to work. Don't use your throttle cut, just push the button here while you go through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by selecting and creating a new model. So I'll go through and select new model three here, which I have not used at all and it will download and set. It defaults on this radio setting up as a heli, which I don't want because these actually fly more like planes than helicopters. So I'm gonna go back into the menu here. I'm gonna go down all the way to the bottom to setup list. So I'm gonna change the model type to acro. That will just give me straight channels and won't try and do any mixing for me. It'll remove all those settings for me. Okay, so that should be good enough for the moment. Now we'll go to the drone. Okay, so I have everything turned off now. I'm ready to set up and bind. So I'm gonna plug in my rate battery here. The blue light will flash slow, meaning it's trying to connect to its bound model. It's not gonna do that. So what will happen, it'll start flashing fast. Hold your trainer switch and turn on the power. And then this will turn on, say bind, and then see that blue light, it turned off. That means that it bound. Now it's a solid blue, meaning it has a working connection. It is bound to this radio now. The problem is it won't work. Um, you can try it from here. If you have, flip your switches, see the green light is off. That means it's not armed. I have mine set now so I can flip this switch and it will arm, but it didn't originally do that. So that's what's supposed to happen and now the motors, motors return, but that didn't work for me first. So. Next, what I had to do is go into clean flight. So in order to load Betaflight, if you don't have it now, you need to install Chrome on your computer and then just Google for clean flight plugin. Cause clean flight isn't actually an application. It's a plugin for Chrome. So you have to have Chrome loaded. So Google for clean flight plugin in Chrome, it'll come up and just load it for you. So get that loaded and then it should look very similar to this. The next problem though is the clean flight load that came on this is very, very old. I'm gonna go ahead and plug into the USB here. So here I'm connected, but this did not happen the first time. The first time it gave me an error that said the version is too old. So what you have to do is upgrade the firmware on this to start with. The easiest way to do that is to unplug the battery here, have a USB port plugged in here and unplug it from your computer. Turn off my radio to save battery for now. Then in clean flight, you go to firmware flasher and it, this is an SP racing F3. And I believe it was running one, one something, one twelve. I don't know. You need to upgrade it to a version of two. So two, one, two Oh five is fine. I think I have two Oh five running on it at the moment. From here, you do a full chip erase, do a manual baud rate, hit load firmware, and this will download the firmware on the board itself. You have to remove the camera. And then what you're looking for is this boot wording here. So it says boot and just below boot one are two metal pads. You have to short out those pads while you plug in the drone. And it's actually not that hard to do on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the new 2.1 firmware so you can actually go through this process because that is not what I loaded before. The easiest way to do it is to take a little extra scrap piece of wire, get it twisted tight and just touch it to those pads so it's shorting out those pads. And then plug in the USB with your other hand on the computer because it's easier to get that side than it is 
to plug in the drone. I don't think I got it there. Oh, it did. So that's what it should look like now on the board. It's flashing. So I got it on the first try just by shorting those pins. Now it's flashing the firmware onto the drone. That will make it so we can finish the configuration in clean flight. Okay, so it finished. I'm going to unplug and plug the drone back into USB. Hit connect, and now I'm connected. Now I'm connected and I can see all the settings in clean flight. Configuration's probably gonna be wrong. The ones you need to really worry about is ESC motors under configuration here. You need to change this to brushed. Along with brush mode, go ahead and turn on motor stop. When you're getting started, you don't want these motors to start spinning when you're armed and you don't wanna to have to flip the switch to stop them from spinning. So do yourself a favor, turn on motor stop also. And save and reboot. I got my radio turned back on. Now we'll go into receiver and I have throttle except uh, my channel mapping is wrong. Interesting. So I'm, I have my channel mapping wrong here on the spectrum. So what I need to do is change this to spectrum. Hit save. Now this changes it to T-A-E-R and everything is correct. Now my throttle works properly. My pitch, y'all roll are all right. So now what I should be able to, in my switches, so my switch here is aux one. So you can still see I have a couple of problems though. One, my throttle is right now, so that will work. And my switch here will work. I'm gonna go into modes to start with just to get that right. So I want arm. And now if I flip this switch, neither one of these is arming. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to the right and hit save. Now when I flip this switch, I'm at least in the arm range, but you see it's still not arming. So there's another problem. We're gonna go back to receiver. And here's the reason I'm keeping clean flight, just because this is easier in clean flight than it is in beta flight. See the stick min? It's at 1100, which means I'm at the minimum throttle, but my throttle here is 1135. That is not gonna work. So I'm gonna change this to 1150 and save. Now, when I flip this switch, see that green light turns on. And now if I go into modes, my arm light is on. So I now have everything armed and ready to turn the motors. Now that will not work because I do not have a battery plugged in, but I'm ready to go and it is armed. Also, what you're gonna to wanna to do on this drone is enable angle mode. Just set this, you can keep it on aux one if you want and just stretch this bar all the way to the side. You could also set it to aux two. If one of your switches on your radios is set to aux two, you can set that and then control whether you want angle mode, horizon mode. But if you're watching this video and you're getting started, you wanna be in angle mode for a tiny whoop. Most, I highly recommend using angle mode for all of your tiny whoop flying inside I think it's just a way to go. Once you get to bigger drones and you're flying outside, absolutely use rate mode, horizon mode, the other things. But for this tiny whoop, stick with angle mode inside. The other thing I'm noticing though is down here in the corner is my drone is spinning. I mean, my gimbals are just not good in this and this radio is worn out, it is ancient. So it's not surprising on this, but it means I need to fix the sub trim. So I'm gonna do that. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna move my sticks and see what this model does. So if I push forward, it goes forward. If I do yaw, my yaw is backwards, I can see. My throttle does go up, so that's okay. But then my pitch, or sorry, my roll is, so my pitch is correct, but my roll and my yaw are both backwards. So I need to fix that before I do anything else. I'm gonna do that by going into the menu and going all the way to the bottom to setup list. And here, four down is reverse. So I want to reverse my ailerons. So those are reversed. And then I wanna reverse my rudder. Go back to list. Now, if I do this same thing on that model, I should have, so if I push forward, I go forward. If I go right, I go right. And if I yaw, I go correct there. So those are fixed now now that I have reversed those settings. Now you can see that model is still spinning really badly. So I wanna go into my settings here again, and I want to go to sub trim, and I want to fix my ailerons. And what I'm gonna do is turn this until roll is at 1500, or right at 1500. And elevator, I will do the same thing. 
until it's at 1500 and then rudder I'll do the same thing until it's at 1500 now you'll see this model in the corner is staying pretty much still that way the drone knows that it's centered and now you can see it's not moving at all so now we should be able to test flying it now I've plugged in the battery I have no green light or it's flashing if I hit arm it will arm actually it won't arm because I was at too much of an angle it has to be on a flat surface so it will arm the motors are not spinning because I have motor stop turned on if I turn on the throttle just a little bit it will start the motor spinning All right now we're gonna do a try to test flight I'm gonna Going to flip the switch to arm and take off and that looks nice and smooth if you found this useful leave a like and a comment down below just letting me know that uh, this this helped out somebody if you need additional batteries for this there's a link down below in the description for the best deal that i found where you can get a five pack of these for like two or three dollars each along with the charger it's will and i use for all of these now Make sure you subscribe so you see all the additional things, because if you've got one of these, this is just the first step into a larger world for most people. We, I review lots of additional drones, inside, outside drones, brushless, brushed, all kinds of stuff. So I'm sure you'll enjoy the uh, content and find even more things useful. And until next time, remember, now I just need the Fly Sky version to have the full set.